Welcome to Robert's Reading Room Member Reviews. I'm here to do my latest book review. I just want to say I do apologize. I have not been uploading my videos like I normally do. Um, I had some personal things going on and I just needed to take care of them. I want to say this book here, please, if you do not read another book in 22, 2022, please give this author a chance. I read this book last year and I was like, you know what? I'm going to add this to Black History. This is Black History Month because it needs to be in Black History. This is a, this was a different read for me, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, with no further ado, I am talking about Shouting in the Fire by Dante Stewart. I just want to say this man is phenomenal. I mean, this novel is breathtaking. I actually got to see him a, a few times on Instagram. Um, him and Robert Jones Jr. talking about the book. And I just want to say, wow, this is his debut. I just, I just don't know a, a follow-up. It, it's just, if you pick up the book and read it, you'll be like, this can't be his first book. Shouting in the Fire is basically, I'm going to talk about parts of the book that got to me was when he left home, they called him, he had a nickname, Devin's Church Boy. Um, and it's a memoir, but it don't read like a memoir. To me, it don't. It do and then it don't. I'm sorry. He leaves. He goes off to college, Clemson University, and he plays football. While he's there, he joined the chorus there and... He met his wife, Jazz, there also in the course, and he wound up going to church, a white church, and this is the part of the book that was kind of hard for me, was when he was going to the white church, and it's like he didn't acknowledge his family, his community, I mean, he spoke with his mom, grandma, and everything, but it was like he distanced himself from them. And I just, I'm like reading this. I'm like, I'm like thinking like, for me, I'm like, it was just so hard because I'm like, I know I'm black and I treat people with respect that treat me with respect. Um, What's the word I'm trying to use? It was like he was trying to fit in in the white society. And he act like, I, I'm not, I don't want to say he, because he's not, I mean, act like he's not black, because he's black. But he just started getting, giving all his time and everything to the white church. And I had, I, that was just so hard for me to read. Because I've always felt that even though they may treat you a certain uh, good, nice on everything, you, they still look at you, some still look at you as being black. And so that part of the book, I was mad and, and angry. Like, why are you doing this, leaving your community? Because the book is like past, present, then it goes back to past. And some of the things that happen as, in his, in his childhood life, because it's taking place, his childhood life takes place in South Carolina. And some of the things that went on there, I'm like, why would you go to the church or white church at that? I'm sorry, nothing wrong with that. When you experience racism in your hometown as a child. And so that part was kind of hard for me. But if you keep reading you will understand, and things really come together. Um, one of the points in the book was when his grandfather, when he got a phone call by his grandfather, I was like, oh, no, I hope, you know, everything's okay, you know. 
And when he was living in California and he went out for the jog and he was coming back, going back home, and a white gentleman came on the porch and when that, all of that that took place, I was like, oh my. <sighs> I'm just, this book is, I don't want to spoil it, but this book is just breathtaking, an eye-opener, a phenomenal, excellent read. I think I read this book in three or four days. And if I had the time to just sit and read, 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 I probably could have did this in one setting because after I got past the point about him not communicating with his family and just like distancing himself to all his family, his his community and everything, um, once I got past that point, I was good. I was real good. I love the relationship that he had with his grandmother and everything. And I just want to say, pick this book up, Shouting in the Fire. It's definitely one of those books for Black history because it talk about the struggles our ancestors have been through and, and, and you know, how far we've come from back in the 40s and even further back and everything and white supremacy and he even mentioned about the orange man former two twice impeached and used to be president and it's just shouting in the fire we have you shouting in this book that's all i'm gonna say about that but anyway it's shouting in the fire by Dante Stewart. Please pick this up. This is an excellent read for Black History Month. I want to thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm on Instagram. It's Robert underscore Reading Room. Facebook group is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews also too. Please check this out. It's a phenomenal read. You will not be disappointed. It's on Amazon. Um, probably in your store nearest to you. Until next time, have a great evening.